And so in this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to test the CD, the Debian 5 CD that we created using the Debian 5 ISO uh, file that we downloaded. So we're going to eject and we're going to say delete. Well, actually, we're going to keep it so we can demonstrate starting the virtual machine in the virtual box. So let's go ahead now and actually just like we did with the windows we're going to not use virtual box and we're going to change it to a different uh, virtual uh, virtualization program in this time i don't want to just use one virtualization program give you the idea that one is better than the other so we're going to say new not open new so let's close that new and we're going to say it's going to VMware Fusion automatically detects uh, disks. If it doesn't detect it, you just go ahead and continue without disk. But I'm going to select the operating system. See here it says Debian 5. So we'll select it. And if we want to do the disk image, we would use this file right here, which I downloaded. So we'll say CD. And we're going to say Linux and we're going to search for Debian. And if Debian isn't listed, I'm looking and I don't see it. If it's not listed, then we can just say other Linux with Linux kernel. Summary, make sure it's saved. and the virtual machine will automatically start up let's get rid of these menu options here and this is we're testing the disk that we burned in previous video it looks to be running nice yes it is now debian in this version doesn't seem to have a live disk option So we'll go ahead and get out of this. We'll say not suspend, we just want to turn off virtual machine, shut down guest. This time what we want to do is we want to go into settings and we're going to say CD and we're going to say use disk image. We're going to go to the desktop where the Debian 5 disk image is and we're going to say open. And now the CD, the virtual machine will boot up from the ISO file. Making sure, just showing you that. And we have here the same thing. So both work. So we'll just go ahead and say shut down. And we can close this window. So that's it for this video. We just want to burn the ISO file, run it and see if it worked well. Make sure that the disk was successfully uh, burned with the ISO file. So in the next video, we'll discuss a physical installation, and then after that, we'll jump right into Chapter 2, where we'll be dealing with VirtualBox, and I'll show you its features, demonstrate what it can do, and all the other nice stuff. That's it for this video.